What's up guys, in this video I want to show you how to solve a simultaneous equation when we have a linear equation and an equation with square roots. Now, and here's an example, and I love this example because everything that we've learned about solving simultaneous equations, we're not going to apply in a problem like this. Because if you were to go ahead and try to solve for x and then plug them into, you know, solve for x or solve for y and plug them in using substitution, you're gonna to come to an impasse. The same thing if we were to apply elimination by adding or subtracting the two equations, again, we're gonna to come to an impasse because these are not like terms, right? This is just an x and a y raised to the first power, and these are gonna be the square root of x and the square root of y. So what exactly can we do? And the one thing that I want you to understand is like, if we are going to do this, we're gonna to have to somehow manipulate these equations, so therefore, um, they can kinda of look a little bit similar to each other. And the one thing I recognize here is, I can actually create a square root as long as I have that term squared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna manipulate this first equation here by actually taking the, uh, the square root of each variable squared. Okay, so what you can see I did is I just took the square root of something squared. And again, like you can see, like those are inverse operations, so that's okay. Now, why would I go ahead and do that? The reason why I did that, um, or what I liked about that is, I created something squared minus something else squared. And that's really important because if you remember, now we can apply the difference of two squares, right? A squared minus B squared is A minus B times A plus B. And again, like, I'm not to say like, you automatically are gonna always like be looking for that. But like, again, think about like, if this is a, like, if we're gonna do anything with these problems, we're gonna have to get them to be in the same format. And if I was to square both of these, right, which would kind of put them into the same format, that'd be a square term plus another um, square term, which is not gonna work for the difference, or sorry, the sum of two squares. If it was the sum of two cubes, you might have something there. But in this example, that wouldn't work. However, I could do it for the difference two squares. Now, when I go ahead and do that, something else is gonna happen that's pretty important. Okay, so what I did is I just applied the difference of two squares here. You know, it's still gonna equal to 17, which was my original problem. Now, the reason why that's important is because what I know about the square root of x plus the square root of y. Well, basically back in my original problem here, we know that the square root of x plus the square root of y is gonna equal to a 17. So now I can rewrite this equation as the square root of x minus the square root of y times a 17 equals 17. And the cool thing here is, again, like if I wanna get rid of multiplying by 17, I just divide by 17 on both sides. Okay, so now look what I did. By manipulating this equation, using the difference of two squares, applying substitution, I now have an equation of the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to one. So I took equation number one and I was basically able to now manipulate it as the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to a one. So now what I'm gonna do is like if that's equation one, that's equation two. Now what I have done here is created an equation number three, which is basically equation number one, manipulate it. Okay, so what is so important about manipulating this? Well, remember a lot of times we're doing elimination, right? We got two equations, right? And you add them or subtract them, but we couldn't do anything because they weren't in the same form. That's why we had to manipulate equation number one, so therefore it was in the same form as equation number two. Well, now you can see that these two equations are, I'm just gonna kind of put a line here. So now that you can see these two equations are in the same form, so now what I can do is I can just use my substitution. So I can go ahead and let me go and use a different variable here. I'm gonna use a one. Now what I can do is I can now add these two equations up. So square root of x plus square root of x is going to be a two, square root of x, positive square root of y plus a negative square root of y is just going to be zero. 17 plus one is going to be a 18. So now, just going to follow my inverse operations, I get x is going to equal to a 81. Well, what happens then if we want to be able to find our y value? Well, what about when we find our y value? And unfortunately here, we don't have anything solved for x. But the nice thing going back to that original equation, I don't really want to deal with the square roots. I mean, you can, but I don't really want to be able to deal with the square roots in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 81 and I'm going to plug it back into this equation now to solve for x. So now you guys can see when I went ahead and plugged in 81 in for the x, solve for y, I get a positive 64. So therefore the solution to this equation is when x equals 81, y is equal to 64, which I can now write as a coordinate point. Now the only reason we're able to solve a problem like this is because we got to the basics. So if you like this video and you want to check out more, then check out the next video I have for you here.